It's been a month since the last time I got on the saddle outside. Uh, yeah, I got another bout, a second bout with COVID. I'm fully vaccinated. I've got two full jabs. I've got two booster shots, but it still got me. It wasn't as difficult the second time around. I, it was rather mild. The second time, the first time when I got it, I was flat on my back at home. I couldn't get out of bed. I was feeling really lousy. This second time around, it was actually quite mild. I was able to work from home. But the difference is, I think the recovery period is taking a lot longer. It has a very long tail the second time around. So it's been a month since I was, more than a month since I was last back on a, on a bike outside. I'm a little nervous because I have to watch out for uh, heart rate and everybody's talking about elevated heart rate coming out of COVID many weeks after. So I'm going to take it easy, but I still want to get outside and I want to have fun. So we're going for a pretty flat ride today. I definitely want to watch my heart rate and also see if it comes down after effort. I think that's the big thing about um, after having COVID, a lot of people talk about elevated heart rates that don't come down when you put on an effort. So I'll be watching out for that. So it's, yeah, I asked for a flat course today and a short course today. Just gotta start someday. I gotta start slow. strong headwind here can I make a t-shirt I just want to be a little more relaxed morning morning
So that's the number I'm looking out for, my maximum heart rate. Well, my heart rate as a percentage to my maximum. Um, I want to make sure it comes down after an effort. So I'm watching that carefully today. Doing a short rest stop here. Okay, the lungs are okay. I'm not getting lightheaded. The heart seems to be fine. It does come down. But my legs are toast. They are burnt toast. Oh. But I think that's more a function of not being on the bike uh, and not really about COVID. So I just really, I gotta start all over again, I guess. do it no shortcuts we took a short rest I didn't really eat much I just had some water um, but it was good to get the legs rested because I am really feeling my legs are like logs or feel like wood but anyway we're heading back we're heading back had a nasty nasty headwind all the way in and at least on the way home we'll have that as a tailwind I hope and if there's a wind shift oh no You know, it was supposed to be a tailwind. Unless we get the wind shift and we got it. So this route I particularly like because it's just in the city. It's about a 35 kilometer loop. Uh, but you get long stretches of uh, good tempo, especially if you get the green light. Like kilometers and kilometers of tempo stretches, which is good. And it's here in a t-shirt. And on a gravel bike. Hi. See, it is a windy day. It's been a windy morning. Okay. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, cheers, guys. So when cyclists talk about a headwind, it's actually the wind that a cyclist will feel on their body as a consequence of their motion. What do I mean? If there's a five kilometer wind in my face, directly in my face, and I'm traveling three kilometers forward, 
the apparent wind that I will feel is actually eight kilometers. That's the headwind that I will feel. And conversely with a tailwind, if there is a five kilometer per hour tailwind coming up from behind me, and I'm traveling at five kilometers away from it, then the apparent wind that I will feel is zero. And that's what it feels like with apparent wind. So when we do cycle and you hear us complaining about the wind and the headwind because it makes it a little more difficult to move forward, well, that's because our forward motion adds to the effort going into the wind. And so we usually prefer the tailwind. <laughs> It was a windy day, but a good day. Uh, we ended up keeping it flat. It's only my first time outside after my second bout with COVID. So I wanted to keep it simple, but it was good fun. And if you enjoyed the ride, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Cheers.